I'm Gigi. And I'm Summer, and we set out to discover what married couples argue about through research and by interviewing three expert couples that have been married for at least 25 years. What do most married couples argue about? Through our research, we found that married couples fight about a variety of issues, and there is not necessarily one topic that married couples fight about the most. For example, researcher Dr. Paul Stanley found in a 2002 study called Communication, Conflict, and Commitment that while the majority of couples surveyed argued the most about finances and children, the important factor to consider is the way that the surveyed couples communicated to solve conflict that determined satisfaction within their marriages. Similarly, in a 2008 study by Dr. Jeffrey Dew, which examined marital satisfaction within couples that experience financial-based conflict, that couples that are in debt fight the most about finances. Since debt is not easily resolved, this topic of argument is usually a recurring fight. Overall, couples fight the most about sex, finances, beliefs, political differences, household responsibilities, jealousy, and children. Our three expert couples that we interviewed are Russ and Kim Rogue, who have been married for 25 years, Joe and Marlene Vestino, who have been married for 47 years, and Barton and Meg Phillips, who have been married for 25 years. What do you and your spouse argue the most about? Again, I don't know that we, we argue about it so much, but the two things that generally cause the most stress probably in our relationship would either be you know, monetary related issues that come up, of course, and then also just uh, issues related to raising, you know, our, our kids, you know, whether it's discipline, whether it's problems that they face or just, um, you know, things of that nature. But I think, uh, you know, those would be the two things that cause the most stress in, in our relationship. Well, um, when, <laughs> when we were younger, it was finances. Um, and then we, we quickly figured um, a few things out. Um, he was self-employed and I was a stay-at-home mom with four children. So we got through that and figured out our bills and how to cope with that. Barton? Schedules. Schedules. One of us over schedules. You can guess. We found that fighting in marriages is completely normal, and if the fights are constructive, fighting can be considered a healthy aspect of marriage. According to Dr. Carla Manley, fighting is needed to help couples thrive and connect on a deeper level. In 2019, a Women's Health article by Ariel Pardis, while many couples fight about finances, 55% of couples say that they don't set aside time to talk about finances. Therefore, having disagreements in a marriage is natural, but it's whether the level of fighting is healthy or unhealthy. If couples are fighting more than not fighting, it's called dirty fighting. But if fighting occurs every so often within a marriage that carefully try to resolve the issue, that is a healthy fight. How frequently do you and your spouse argue? I guess it depends on the scale of the argument. So there's little bickers that are just daily little nothings that aren't really an argument like you left your dishes in the sink kind of thing. But to really argue, not Not very, very frequently. Often. I mean, a big argument, it could be fewer than, I mean, two times a year. I mean, it's not that, not it's that common. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, we call it bickering now as we've gotten older. When we were young, we didn't argue that much because we're so busy with the family. Martin? Very infrequently. Mm -hmm. We don't argue very much. Have the topics that you and your spouse argue about changed over time? I don't know that the topics have changed. I mean, if you come back to what we said earlier, which would be, you know, issues related to raising our children and of course, you know, work and or monetary uh, frustrations, those are the same. In my opinion, I think we argue less now than we did when we were first together because I think we just have learned how to get better, in my opinion. Yeah, and we just know each other so much better now that we can avoid some things that I think... <laughs> like we avoid each other. <laughs> Um, they definitely change. I think our arguments are 
just uh, small things now, things that sometimes we even laugh about. They haven't. Meg overscheduled before we were married. Mm -hmm. I always overschedule, but, but we work through it. Are the arguments between you and your spouse resolved quickly? There's a day of silence in between. But, but normally not too much longer than that. But I mean, I, I, I would say, and I don't know that it's been Kim's methodology to deal with arguments in this fashion, but I know that my methodology, right or wrong, has been to, you know, just not, you know, uh, exaggerate the argument, not fight about it, just kind of be quiet for a day or two and uh, kind of let things pass almost be, rather than have some big blow up argument. And yeah, that doesn't happen a lot. Dad's <laughs> also good at writing apology letters. <laughs> so I get a few of those. Does marriage change how often you argue and what you argue about? Yes, definitely. Now we, we, we argue about, about everything. Like, <laughs> pretty much everything, small things like, oh, you forgot to put your dish in the dishwasher. Oh, why did you leave your clothes there? So they're really small things or you drive too slow. <laughs> um, marriage doesn't, but kids do. Kids do. Kids do. Kids add a whole other level of stress and exhaustion, um, and joy, and schedules. Identifying conflict patterns throughout time and seeing what triggers arguments so each spouse can take responsibility for unhealthy reactions is the first step to having healthy conflict. Therefore, researchers Delatory and Wagner conducted a study called Marital Conflict Management of Married Men and Women in 2018, which found that couples who have been together longer normally deal with conflict in a constructive manner compared to younger couples. Additionally, in a 2015 study called Communication in Intercultural Marriages, Managing Cultural Differences and Conflicts, researchers Dr. Tilly and Dr. Baker found that couples who have mindfulness, respect, and communication competence were the most likely to resolve marital conflicts. Interestingly, in a 2014 study published in Europe's Journal of Psychology by researcher Dr. Campbell and Dr. Moritz, findings show that couples use humor to attempt to resolve arguments. Positive humor used from both spouses in a relationship helps resolve the arguments faster. Overall, active listening has been found to be a key in resolving and preventing conflicts in marriage. What is your advice to newlyweds about arguing? My favorite saying is, happy wife, happy life. I don't know. My advice to somebody new would be to not sweat the small stuff. Obviously, there, there's going to be little tiny things that, that come up every day that, that it maybe bother you about your spouse or what have you, but it's not, not worth, you know, fighting about. So You have to work them out. You have to give and take. You can't win every argument. Yeah, even though I would like to. But, um, yeah, I would say that for newlyweds, you know, you have to care about each other's feelings and you can't just always be right. <laughs> you have to give in a little. Don't marry a bitch. <laughs> um, just communicate. You can't over communicate. So just talk about um, things that upset you and don't let them to be, don't let them get too big that you can't resolve them. In conclusion, as seen through research and our interviews with expert married couples, there is no simple answer to our question, what do most married couples argue about? The topics of argument, the frequency of conflict, and the ways in which conflicts are resolved are all dependent on the couple. Every relationship is unique with a unique set of circumstances, so it makes sense that couples argue about different things and in different ways.